Now that we have created all the loudspeakers and the amplifiers in our project, we can start linking them. This can be done by clicking Design and Link. Then, if we select a loudspeaker, we can see that slots become automatically available on the amplifiers, allowing us to easily and progressively create the links by clicking on these empty slots. We can also create links in a non-progressive order by selecting a different loudspeaker. For example, let's select the subs and link them to two separate amplifiers and then fill up the remaining slots with the front fills. Once all the connections have been made, if we're not happy and need to amend anything, we can simply select a link on the amplifier and then click the Unlink tool to undo the connection. Alternatively, we can also make a general selection and undo all these links at the same time. If for any reason it is necessary to connect each line of the loudspeaker to a specific channel of the amplifier, this can be done by using the Split Mode tool here at the top bar. After clicking Split Mode, we can select individual lines and create independent links with the amplifier channels. And this is how we can link loudspeakers and amplifiers in Harmony Plus. If you have any questions about this or any other videos in the series, please feel free to contact us on support.audio at powersoft.com.